Hello, it's Kara on Rump Raves. Sorry again for such a long break between videos. I feel so bad for everyone who follows my videos regularly because I'm used to putting up at least one video every day and maybe skipping one day every once in a while. But I've, I've just been so busy. And af after this week, I promise there will not be big breaks like this anymore because uh, school will be over. And then I'll be in the summer and I can just do videos whenever because I won't have seven hours of my day taken up by school plus hours and hours after that studying for finals. Um, this is also a different recording spot. I really like the lighting in here because the whole wall is like almost all windows. So <laughs> um, this is my kitchen. Uh, I guess you guys probably don't care but all of these like decorative stuff like the crocheted knitting random things are done by like my great grandma I think. And then they're just like all antique ish stuff, I guess. Um, so, today I'm going to be talking about menstrual cups and your virginity. So, first I guess I should talk about what exactly virginity is. So, if you're a virgin, basically it means that you haven't had sex. But there's a lot of different kind of varieties or different ideas on exactly what sex is is and exactly what could take away your virginity. So some people think any kind of sex would be, uh, would make you not a virgin anymore. So like oral sex, anal sex, regular intercourse, any kind of that counts as sex to some people. So then that, that would make you not a virgin. Some people think that you have to orgasm to have your virginity taken away. And some people think, well I guess, some people think that you have to actually, like, be with someone that you love and so just sex with random people, like, a one-night stand doesn't count. Um, I guess I, it doesn't really matter what I per personally believe, it's just whatever you consider. Because, I mean, I guess intercourse, regular intercourse is probably what most people believe is what, what takes away your virginity. But then, if you think about a rape case, I mean, that doesn't really make sense. And I guess some people even believe that virginity doesn't even exist, that there's no logic behind it. So anyway, um, I think most people, when they ask this question, are referring to your hymen when it breaks or stretches or whatever you think that it does. Um, so I guess that's another, another case of what people think virginity could be, but some people don't even have a hymen. They're born without it, they never have it and you can break it without having sex. So that doesn't really apply here either. Uh, my grandma was actually one of those people that thought that your hymen was your virginity. So she told me, it was a long time ago when I used to use tampons, she told me, you better never use tampons because if you use one, you won't be a virgin anymore. And I was kind of like, what? That doesn't really make sense. And I asked my mom, and my mom's like, well, she just lives on old traditional stuff. So I guess, that's okay if she thinks that, whatever. <laughs> she is married and has kids who have kids, so I guess it doesn't really matter to her anyway. But I guess that's just all my explana explanations of virginity itself. And then a menstrual cup uh, has to go into your vagina, uh, just like a tampon, and it's bigger than a tampon. So I guess it would make sense that people would be worried and have this question. So I'm, I'm here to tell you that no, you do not lose your virginity when you use a menstrual cup. You, if you do have a hymen, uh, some people don't, but if you do, it could stretch or break. I don't really think personally that it breaks because it would be like breaking the skin on your hand. I mean, that doesn't really make sense. And if you had a full thing covering your vagina, which is your virginity, uh, you would never be able to have a period. I mean, think about that. Um, so, yeah, I guess whatever you think is fine. I'm not going to tell you that you're wrong, but <clears throat> a menstrual cup does not make you lose your virginity. Um, I guess during removal would probably be the most, I guess, stretch stretching part. 
because you pull the cup out and it's almost all the way expanded. I don't have a cup with me. It's in my room. I'm not going to go get one. But it's open all the way inside your body. And then when you go to pull it out, it's expanded all the way. And you can push it down into like a C fold to pull it out if you want it to be smaller. And I guess as long as you don't break the membrane, which is your hymen, like if you don't tear it, it's not really going to be all that painful. Um, just using a menstrual cup over time will stretch it enough to be comfortable. Um, I guess just think about the first time you're going to have sex. I mean, that's going to be similar to the size of a menstrual cup, I guess. So if you just think about if you're ever going to have sex someday, it's not going to be that big of a deal. And you can be more careful with a menstrual cup because you're doing it yourself. You can take your own time. You don't have to do it all in one day. You can do whatever. Just like uh, in a couple videos ago when my sister was trying out a menstrual cup, she still hasn't figured it out. She's just just working at it. Different, different days she'll just decide, oh, I want to try it out and just work on it. So it's, it's not that big of a deal and you don't lose your virginity. So I guess that's all I have to say about that unless you just want me to ramble some more. So that's this video, I guess. And um, I will see you next video. Uh, hopefully it will not be three days late again. So you can subscribe if you would like to keep up with my videos. Um, and that's it. Thanks for watching.